What is going on everybody? Early, early start. We're rocking 6 a.m. right now and uh, we're getting ready. We're about to go do some tournament fishing. My first ever uh, tournament uh, for bass fishing. It's pretty exciting. Besides that, we're fishing at a new location. We're fishing at Possum Kingdom Lake, uh, which is a Lunker program lake. So this is the land of giants kind of thing. There's people that have been known to catch fish that are 8 pounds or more, 8 to 10 pounds, sometimes even 13 pounds. Uh, I believe is the largest fish out of this lake. Uh, so this is the second annual Big Bait Tournament here in Texas. It's the second annual here at Possum Kingdom. And uh, we're gonna be joined with our buddy, Brandon, AKA the Mad Swim Baiter. I just saw one of the largest baits I've seen in my life. Like it, the size of my forearm, it's crazy. Um, yesterday we went out and did some pre-fishing. And uh, when I tell you it was a big epic fail, um, it was it was an epic fail. Um, but I think today's conditions are gonna kind of change for the better. We're rocking like zero mile per hour winds today and a high of five. Uh, temperatures are dropping to about 40 degrees. It's about 43 right now. Yesterday was about 70. Uh, the high today is 70. So to head out there right now, get all the gear loaded up, get the bags loaded up. We'll talk about the tackle when we get out there and what we're gonna be tossing. It's gonna be pretty exciting. Uh, enough talking about it. We'll just head out there. Meet you guys when we get there. Let's get to it. Ooh, yeah. Here goes nothing, boys. Throw money. Let's just throw some money away. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Hey, how, how you guys going? doing? Doing good. How doing? Uh, we are here. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I just had to put my hand. Go for it, man. Do what you need to do. Just had to see it, man. <laughs> yeah. So I just got. We're just doing paper and pen. No big okay. deal. So eighty dollars for the team, twenty for big bass, hundred total if you do both. Okay. Um, so they like, can. You had write your team name down here, and then we'll check off that you got it paid. You excited? Yeah, dude. I'm. Living the dream right now. It's uh, out here, Possum Kingdom. We got big baits. I just saw one of the largest baits I've seen in my life. Like it, the size of my forearm. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, dude, this is legit. We about to get it, guys. It's it's gonna be an exciting evening. You probably can't really see too well because the lighting, but we're about to drop the boat, get the uh, lines rigged up. First cast starts at 7:15. Sun doesn't even get up till 7:30. So let's get to it. Hey, dude. That's blowing oh, up. Is that you? Bro. Bro! Hey, what's up, man? All I'm Brandon. Right. Yeah, Colton. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, yeah, man. So excited. So we, well, glad you're ready to go. All right. So, Appreciate you. Yep. Thank you. Uh, Good luck, guys. Appreciate cast, it, man. Last cast is at three. Weigh-in line closes at 3.45. Alrighty, guys. Uh, first cast has officially started. As you can see, there's no sun yet, but the boats have all kind of left the... Uh, the launch area and me and Brandon did some scouting yesterday and saw a bunch of bluegill, a bunch of uh, structure up against this wall behind us. So we're actually going to just stick around this area, fish this boat ramp, see if we can pull at least one or two off of it and uh, then work our way to our spots. So let's get to it. All right, guys, you probably can't even see it. You can't even see it. First cast, we're tossing this DRT TK joy beef color. Fish to structure and rock that we saw them hanging out on yesterday. That's not bad. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, where are these fish hiding? Like, there's gotta be some fish on these. Oh, I got, actually got oh, oh my god. Oh my god. No, he's not gonna bite again, bro. But th they're under that dock. I actually got a hit. Like, that was our first hit. Oh my god. I can't control the trolling motor. I got too excited. Well, guys, just had our first little bump. Yeah, right there. I rank, I reeled it down and dunk. I didn't set the hook though. Like I, I thought I hit a rock. You know what I mean? You're like afraid to set the hook. Oh man. Fish this inside line and I'll fish this one and we'll roll the next. I've been really getting feel. You know why I'm here. Don't act like you know how I feel. But let me tell you what you mean to me. Slide on me for that mean. Well, guys, we got some deer right here in front of us today. Look at that buck. I was like, what's up, shorty? You want some? She's like, no, dude, I'm eating breakfast. It's got to be a grass patch. Oh my god, dude, that was like a 
four pounder. Oh my God, he saw the boat. Oh guys, came to our comfort corner and uh, we literally just had one chase my DRT all the way up to the tip. So I'm gonna start working a little bit slower, I think. So I'll do my first little commentary of what's going on because I've just been so focused on what's going uh, down in the water. It is 7.30. We've been out here officially for about one hour. We've had one follower. We've caught about nine trees and uh, the grind is on. There's 18 boats in total in this competition. So it is an actual tournament today, it sounds like. Um, like I said before, last bag that won this was 15 pounds. I want to say the first fish I lost this morning was probably a good three to four pounder. Followed up. Didn't lose it. Followed up all the way to that boat and then just decided to to get out of here but either way we are burning it i got the tk on brandon's got the uh ds, DS custom ds custom glide what is that like seven eight inch something like that uh it's an eight it's a big boy yeah. so he's looking for the the berthas and i'm just trying to pull their little sisters out of here right now we're just flipping this uh grass and reed timber area we're rocking about say five to eight feet of water and just trying to patrol the area temperatures are 43 outside but they're about 70 in the water so the fish realistically should be feeding and today should be a really serious feeding day for them oh oh get the net 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 get the net, get the net. Hurry. That's like a fiver. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah, Woo! Uh. Let's go! Let's go, baby! But we got it! Let's go! Mm. First fish of the day! Dude, that's a nice fish. <laughs> we don't need no scale for that. We know you. We already know what it is. TK. Woo! Woo! Boys. Yeah, it's almost like a five to start the morning. TK, baby. All or nothing. My netter right here. Oh, Couldn't have done it without him. Netman. Let's netman. go. I'm getting a netman hat now. Almost fell in the water. <laughs> Guess what, baby? We on him. Woo! All right, guys. First fish of the day on that Joy Thief TK. That transfer tail, man. We're burning it across this little wall. And uh, next thing you know, it was said and done before I could even, before I could even react. I saw him come up and look at it and then stop. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna burn it again. And then he just swiped at it. So I kind of feel like we found somewhat of a pattern or what we have faith in at least. We're gonna start looking for these uh, walls where the, the water kind of breaks the edge and the sun might be kind of hitting on and uh, oop, try to work those a little bit. There's that island that everybody talks, is it? No, it's further down. Um, but yeah, we're gonna keep on working these walls. Right now I'm just burning this uh, transferred tail DRT Joy Thief in and uh that tk version and it's it's working we got one fish so far i've pulled another fish out of a bridge or out of a dock um so confidence right now is it's definitely high it's starting off high and we're not gonna try to look back anytime soon so just keep fishing trying to get us a little bit closer we'll fish parallel try to fish these little individual pillars underneath the bridge and uh work our way to this little edge i guess and then make our next move but hey if it got us a fish we're gonna stick to it Try to build confidence off of it, try to find a pattern, and uh, hopefully get ourselves a full bag today. Let's get it. Oh, big bass on my lure. Oh, right there, right there. You see him take off? Yeah, yeah. They're on these rocks right here. Up against, like, dude, he was in this rock. Like, in the rocks, like, in those rocks right there. Yeah, like inside. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna have to kind of pick these spots apart, man. Seems like. I'm gonna pull this forward so I don't hit this other rock real quick. That was like the same one we have in the bag. Well guys, we are about three hours out from weigh-in and we still got one fish. God, I need some water. 
So we're gonna keep on working down this wall right here. This is that shallow flat. There's a nice little drop off over here. So we're gonna kind of work the rest of this little cove. And uh, we might just head south after that and try to hit up the spots where we marked yesterday or some of our confident areas where we caught fish this morning. Um, there's a possibility on the other side of this little wall that there's fish. It just seems like the only pattern that we've been able to find is that they're sitting in shallows with rocks. So found the rocks, found the shallows, no fish here. Just gonna keep on moving, trying to find more similar locations and uh, see if we can pull them. Because like I said, we had two over there follow, just did not commit, so back at it. Especially for big baits. Stirs them up, brings them to the surface. Yes! There's one right there. Look at him. Oh my god! What the f Oh, I was right here at the edge, dude! That was it, dude! At the boat. It missed the hooks completely. Alright, guys, we just lost uh, probably the, the fish that could have made a difference, man. That burning technique seems to be working. Alright, guys. Final stretch, we literally are at 10 minutes. I think kind of the funniest thing is we haven't even weighed that fish, so we don't even know what we're walking in with. Guys, I don't think we got the cigar on this day, but I'm excited to see what everybody else got. Get the only fish we got today out of here. Nice. I'm telling you, man, it could have been big fish. <laughs> she ain't no joke, man. <laughs> nice. All right, guys, got the only fish in the bag so far. We're going to go over there, weigh it up, and uh, I guess just see what we place. I know we didn't win it, but I'm just excited to see what happened. Let's go over there. That guy don't even fit in the bag. <laughs> No. You can, like zoom in on that freaking <laughs> fish over there. That's a big fish. The one next to it's fucking a six pounder. It's gotta be like a six pounder. Oh my god, that might be bigger than that. Yeah, dude. That's a chunk. That's why it's a longer program later. <laughs> oh my god. Just go ahead and do that first. Uh, yep, yeah, just. You guys need to hit up the longer. Vote 16. Get yourself a sticker. Going at 12, 12, 12. dude, wow. my dude. Wow. Let's go, game. 12, 12. Let you can put you that on the. Oh. Have that. <laughs> Pull that bad right, boy out. Go ahead and add that real quick. Wow. 12, 12. Come on, yeah. Everybody got 12, 12. No. Oh. <laughs> we did way hard, but it's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen a fish that, that big in my life. Yeah, that's... Dude, well, like today, no, I'm serious. Like, this is oh, yeah, the first time I've ever seen a 12-pounder in my life. What are you throwing? That is amazing. Holy crap. How much? Congratulations. 12 pounds. 12, 12. 12. 12. Almost 13. Almost 13. <laughs> that yeah. is awesome. Hold on, I want to get... Uh, is, uh, I don't want to, like, get... I want to get... I don't even know. Is that PB or is that just look at this thing right here. That's insane. That's a bad problem. I'm going to show my dad that. I'm <laughs> throwing a swim bait out here for five years and they ain't never caught fish like that. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me. Six, two, Six, two, three. Boat number two. Yep. Yeah. All right. Good guy. Uh, good bag, guys. Sure. We're a one, one fish team right here. <laughs> yeah, we saw you burn it up and now it's a piece. Maybe one of those rocks, that's it. I, was yep. just, I had a working bag. class. It, oh, right here in my truck. Or did we put the board in my tr in my boat? I'm not sure where you put the board, to be honest. One. Four five. I actually have a four sixty six. Four sixty six. Alright, guys. One and only fish. Putting it back with their big boys over here. See ya. You pull all four? Yeah, hold on four, bro. Get out of here, baby. Go on, you're in the knot in the box no more. Go on. Swim free. She's off. 
All right, guys, so tournament is over. Finished the day with a 4.66 bag. That's only one fish too, so I feel like if we would have honestly caught all the fish that we saw today, uh, we probably could have honestly won it or even placed. I think the biggest bag is 16 pounds right now, if I'm not mistaken, man. Yeah. So if we would have caught, think about it, five fish, four pounds, 20, that's a 20, 20 pound bags. bag. We could have easily had it, so. Just unfortunate day. Uh, it's just one of those things that happens in tournament fishing and swim bait fishing. Unfortunately, you don't always get the big fish to the bite, uh, but it's still fun. We had a lot of fun out here, and uh, we were fishing with some good people, met some new friends, and that's what it's all about, guys. When you're out here just enjoying the day, trying to make the most of it, fishing, tournament fishing, it's new to me, but having fun with my friend. Yeah. Can't complain, man. Good so, times. Uh, setups, guys. I mean, all I really threw today TK transfer tail, 6.6 .6 inch, uh, through the UFO around, through the Citizen, didn't have much luck. Uh, Brandon threw the TK around through I mean kind of everything he even threw kitchen sink at him and just it, it was tough We just couldn't get him to bite. I, I mean, decided that that the lake wanted it needed my battle shad 7.5 <laughs> so We I sacrificed like, you know, it just, just sacrifice it to the fishing guy. It's like not only did I give 80 bucks to this tournament But here's 80 bucks for my bait <laughs> <laughs> But regardless of that man, you can't complain. It's all fun. It's all loving games and you know, we we'll back next year. We'll definitely continue doing uh, tournament fishing. If it's something you guys like, let me know in the comments below. It's always good to hear from you guys and, and good to know what you guys are liking and wanting. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. If you got any questions, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit that like and sub. Shout out to our boy Brandon, aka the Mad Swim Baiter. I'm going to leave his link below. Go hit up his Instagram. Check out all the swim bait stuff he does because that's really all he does. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Peace. I don't know nothing else. Then I was an adolescent, then I had a lesson, I'm the man, now I got fans now.